Hello, good morning, year two students. How are you all doing today? Okay, so um, today being 24th of January, 2022, our lesson for today is um, about a folk tale, Dolphin King. Okay, it's a story actually. And um, for this lesson, you'll be needing the student book the, and the workbook with your pencil, of course, okay? So get them ready and sit down. Let's get into this lesson. Okay, here at Brighton, this is our mission and vision. Then remember guys that the value of the month is still respect, okay? And the lesson objectives for today, three and four, is that you will be able to predict the story Okay, what the story will be all about by scanning through the pictures. Okay, and you'll also be able to show fluency by reading a story. Okay, so these are the vocabulary words for the week. And for our starter, guys, you can play this game before you start. And you can also choose to read the story, okay, before you actually start reading. Or you can read with this, um, with the, you can also read with the reader with this link, okay? So that being said, let's talk about first, what is a folk tale? So folk tale is a story which began with oral storytelling, okay? And it's passed down through the ages and it's teaching and teaches a lesson, okay? And it explains why things are the way they are. For example, um, when this folk story started, um, nobody used to write it, okay? It's just our parents telling, um, or rather our great grandparents telling our grandparents and our grandparents teaching or telling our parents and all that a story, which they will pass on to us and will pass it down to our children. For example, I told you a story about why the tortoise back it's how it is and why the lion is the strongest animal in the whole wide world so these are fictional stories okay they're fictions they're not real stories okay guys so most of folk tales are fictions they are not real stories all right so more examples of um Folk tale, for example, have you read the story about the three little kittens, the gingerbread boy, the three little pig, the tree, the little red riding hood, the three bears, Jack and the Beanstalk, and all that. Okay, all these stories are folk tales. Okay, guys, let's open the student book, page 41. Okay, we are starting with page 41, okay, where we have the lesson, reading and speaking. First of all, um, this is an introduction to the, to the lesson. Okay, so this is the title page of the story you are going to read. What type of story is this? Like I told you, it's a folk tale from France. Okay, guys, re remember I say folk tales can come from anywhere. It could come from Qatar, it could come from Egypt, it could come from the UK, it could come from um, anywhere, any part of the world. Okay, but this particular uh, folk tale we are about to read is from France. All right. So, number two, what do you think the story will be all about? Okay, so for this now, we're going to look at the pictures in page 42 and 43. So what do you think the story will be all about? Look at those pictures. Look what is happening here. Then after that, look at what happened next. Okay, and look at this one, then this one, and then this one. What do you think happened in the story? Can you reason it now? Okay, yeah. All right, so from here, I can see a man throwing a spear at a dolphin. And here I can see, I think there is a problem here. Their boat is about to sink and I think someone might come to the rescue or something. And then look, the person is carrying um, a white, maybe it's a knight, okay? It's carrying a man, maybe the man that threw the spear. 
and look, I can see something like um, with the body of a dolphin, but the head of um, but the head of human. Okay, and then at last, I think they the tr they don't have trouble anymore with their boat. So okay, so that being said, let's go into let's get into reading this uh, story. So guys, read the stories. Look at some words you, okay, we'll still have the explanations of those words in the workbook, don't worry. Okay, so um, find new words you don't know, and then you can ask me in the next class, or you can send me a message on Fredina and I will tell you what it means. Okay, so read carefully, read number one, after number one, you go over to two, three, four, and five. Okay, so look at this. Remember to write interesting words from the story in your word book, that means in your notebook. Interesting words like difficult words or words you think you don't know. Write it down, at least three, okay? So that we'll talk about it in the next class or you can send me a message on Fedena and I'll reply you, okay? So that being said, um, after you're done, go over to the workbook page 30 Okay, so let's do this activity. So it says here, draw lines to match the words to their meanings. All right, so haul, okay, means to throw forcefully. Like I told you, all these words are interesting words from the story we read in page 42 and 43 of the student book. Now, um, the second one, spare, it means what? A long stabbing weapon for throwing. The next one is scream to make a loud high cry. The next one is dive mainly to jump into the water with your arms first. The next one is strange, which means unusual. And then whisper, whisper means to speak softly, like whispering. Okay, then the final one is heal, which is to make healthy. Okay, so at this stage, if you've come to the stage, that means we're almost at the end of today's lesson. So tell me, guys, what did you learn today? And then can you retell the story about the Dolphin King? When you're done, can you try all this uh, exercise? I'm also going to leave the link to see if you really understood the story about the Dolphin King. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson for today. Have a nice day and... Bye-bye.